Dear brothers, dear sisters, receive the sweet peace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Here I greet my brothers and sisters, your sister and friend, Sister Ruth. I ask the church to accompany me in the light of the word here in 1 Timothy, chapter 4, starting from verse 1. Thus says the Holy Bible, which is the mouth of God, but the Spirit expressly says that in the last times some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons, through the hypocrisy of men who speak lies, having their own conscience seared, more in verse 3, forbidding marriage and commanding abstinence from foods which God created for those who believe and know the truth, so that they may partake of them with thanksgiving. We knows that everything we are experiencing at this very moment in our world is nothing more and nothing less than the fulfillment of the Holy Scriptures and the Word of God, we knows that things are only going to get worse, nothing will get better, as some people say and use these preachings, saying that things will get better when they won't, because the Word of the Lord must be fulfilled before the Lord Jesus comes to take away His Church. That's why we have to feed on the Holy Bible and have our feet solid in Christ Jesus, it is the Lord God who, gives me the order to preach, this channel has a commitment to open eyes, to open understanding, to win souls and to take as many people and souls as possible out of Satan's clutches, Satan is not joking around, he wants to deceive, he is succeeding and this is his focus, and to do so he creates innovations, divisions, different opinions, he innovates to keep the people deceived, captive. He innovates things that will bar the people from entering the holy city, brothers and sisters, the only thing we need is in the holy bible, the bible is the believer's compass, the believer's sword, and the holy spirit of God, anything that wants to silence the holy spirit taking the holy spirit off the stage does not come from God, things like coaches, mentors, theologians are being programmed by Satan in hell. A lot of women now call themselves spiritual mentors. How are they going to be spiritual mentors and helpers? They are not even free from the adornments of Jezebel. You have the worldly adornments on you. How are they going to free others with the anointing of God on their lives if the anointing that is on them is anointing of demons? So open your eyes, my brothers. The earth is infested with doctrines of demons, in addition to the baggage of Egypt, which are high heels, tight skirt, makeup women with clothes extravagant, flashy pants, all this was designed in hell, and I can speak with authority about these things because the Lord took me more than once to the spiritual world and showed me all this, no one has ever preached to me holiness, sound doctrine, renunciation, the Holy Spirit of God entered my house and made a deal with me, when I arrived at the prayer house to worship I was already sealed with the Holy Spirit, I already lived the sound doctrine, at church I looked at the church pianist with high heels, makeup, I saw chains on her hands, as she was playing the organ I saw snakes around her waist because she was wearing high heels, wearing earrings and chains, this symbolizes slavery in the spiritual world, I looked at the elder preaching, I saw chains on his arms, yet people are saying that demons do not enter the prayer house, but it is full of them it is full, and to see them it is only through spiritual vision. To feel them you have to be very sensitive to the voice of God, we feel oppression and a heavy environment but the blood of Christ has power, that's why I will preach sound doctrine despite principality, Satanist, high ranking demon, I know that while I am in the position my God will protect me because I was raised to preach against hell, and everything that leads there and I have seen the cunning of Satan behind the spiritual world, how much he has divided the people into different opinions. He has taken people away from the focus of the Holy Gospel. When I began to have experience with the Lord Jesus he took me to several churches precisely to warn me not to rush and join them. My commitment is to drag as many people as possible and lead them to salvation. A blind man cannot lead another blind man. If you feed on rotten sources and foul sermons that do not demand holiness that do not demand renunciation that do not demand you to have a transformed life it is not the gospel of the cross that the apostles died for, it is from Satan, he is the one behind all this confusion and hybrid gospel, be careful with sermons that only talk about anointing, be careful with sermons that only talk about love, be careful with sermons that only talk about mercy. Be careful with sermons that make you comfortable in your spiritual house, thinking that you are saved, 
you must analyze your life, feed on the word, fast and pray, God will raise you up, God will anoint you, God will use you, then your spiritual house will be clean and the Lord will deal with you, run away from sermons that only talk about victory, well-being, anointing, in fact God pours out anointing, but first he will demand that his people clean up, God pours out anointing but first he will demand freedom, he demand altar, an empty vessel, then the Lord will pour anointing yes because the Lord has his hands outstretched to pour out what you and I need for us to work in favor of God here on earth, but first he will demand renunciation, holiness, narrow door and separation from the world, because God's anointing come the old way, the one who offers an easy path is Satan. Satan does not demand that anyone stop being a believer no he just wants them to preach the wide door gospel, Satan has his churches and there are many, but few are the houses of prayer where you enter and leave renewed, free, the narrow road is the path that will lead us to eternity, grace gave us salvation does not give you or me the right to enter through the narrow door, salvation with a life that has nothing to do with Jesus is not authentic, living a life that is circular, passive, Worldly is not the gospel of the cross, the gospel of the cross makes us cry, burns our flesh, mortifies the old man, makes us turn our backs on the world, the gospel of the cross makes us disgusted with our old nature and disgusted with sin, the gospel of the cross leaves our flesh so mortified that we want to leave this earth, we want the master to come and take away his people, and many will remain here I have the commitment to preach the truth no matter who it hurts I just have to preach. We know that Satan knows our faults. He studies our faults. He studies our defects. He studies before he attacks. We are Satan's enemy, just as he is our enemy, we are his enemy. Because he is not our friend, before he attacks the weak points to make a soldier fall Satan he knows how to manipulate, that is why the doctrines of demons are so effective, getting people to corrupt themes of self and leave the presence of the Lord. The focus of announcing the good news of the gospel is to win souls for the kingdom of God and to win. We are seeing that that many churches are being opened, they are synagogues of Satan, Babylonian churches, you don't leave visited by the Holy Spirit nor fed by the bread of life which is the word of God, you enter and leave the same way because they are apostates those who began in the spirit are in the flesh, let's learn what the doctrines of demons are so we can flee from this synagogue of Satan so we can flee because these people who are preaching heresies in the pulpits are dragging many to hell, they are in the satanic media, in the spiritual world they are defeated, have no armor, they are not the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit. The first characteristic of a synagogue of Satan and of a person who is being used by demons, is that he does not live by doctrine that requires holiness, purity, separation, the holy doctrine that requires separation which demands that God's people be a different, holy people who are not stained with the things of the world, this is the first characteristic of a church without doctrine, it is a church that is under Satan's feet, it is a church that is living the will of the devil, it is a church that is not a threat to the spiritual world, because they only preach victory, love, blessing and earthly things, they do not lead the people to live a holy life, a life denied by holiness and renunciation, they do not teach the people that in order to enter the kingdom of God, to be a resident of heaven, to enter the holy city, they need to turn their backs on the world and on sin and be a new creature, this is the first characteristic of apostate and a synagogue of Satan, they do not want to adhere to the doctrine of the Holy Spirit that requires holiness, separation from the world and being different. The second characteristic is the worldliness that has entered so many houses of prayer that are synagogues of the devil, worldliness can be observed, they take Jesus Christ off the stage, putting dances inside the church, dances that Jesus does not even accept, he himself told me it's nonsense, the only dance that the master accepts is dancing in the spirit and this dance is not scandalous it is soft it is a holy rhythm. It is not these demonic rhythms mixed like rock mixed with profane and worldly dances, these are doctrines of demons inside many synagogues of Satan, these worldly rhythms, he wants us to have spiritual scales on our eyes and itching in our ears. He works with ignorance he wants people to be spiritually ignorant, we can see that many of these people who preach the same thing over and over again believe in their own lies, 
they are hypocrites and fakes, as it says in 2 Timothy where Paul says that they have a form of godliness but they are denying the efficacy of the word, they even use isolated verses, they manage to do a mind washing of so many, I have seen people saying I prophesy but they don't want to give up vanity, they are prophesying in the devil, yes, because there is no way that the Holy Spirit of God, who is holy, pure, does not like vanity and that sin is using them, people today are denying intelligence of Satan. I have heard sermons from men who do not live by the doctrine and do not know what they are talking about, about how intelligent the devil, is, a clever strategist, he is absolutely intelligent, very intelligent and clever, and he knows how to make something real, that is why the church has to ask for the greatest of gifts, which is the gift of discernment of spirits, so as not to be deceived by these unclean spirits, filthy, this past week I was watching a video of a young woman talking about the spiritual world, calling herself a spiritual helper, a liberator, speaking with great confidence, with great authority, about a certain spiritual goddess, I said, how does she know all these things? How does she know even the name of the demons, and how they work? How is she going to do deliverance if she is not even delivered? When I went to do my devotional and prayer, after a while, the Lord opened my vision, and I saw this same person reading a thick handout about the name of the demons and what they do, the same people who teach theology courses are now teaching about demons, the master told me that only those who experience spiritual battle know about spiritual battle, only those who face demons, Satan and his army know about spiritual battle, only those who experience spiritual battle in their own skin that know about spiritual battle. The lady paid for a course, one day I saw another young man doing the same thing with a gay inclination of a sodomite, I looked at that young man and at that moment the Lord gave me the revelation that he was a homosexual, supposedly casting out demons by raising his hand and making strange movements, a strange fire, anointing from and authority from above does not come on a silver platter, it is not through theology, it is through a holy life of renunciation, holiness and liberation that the Holy Spirit of God give he pours out anointing, this is how authority is gained in the spiritual world against demons, through a holy life of renunciation and holiness, demon do not obey those who have their faces painted, they do not obey those who have their hair cut, they do not obey those who are wearing pants, they do not obey those who are in their second or third marriage, as I learned from one who is in his third marriage. He was sweating like couscous to expel the demon, he still sent the demon possessed person home, understand legality gives demon strength, they do not obey the one who open dues, the brothers are understanding how the devil is clever and intelligent, so let's stop underestimating the intelligence of this being who is very intelligent, another characteristic of the doctrine of demons is modernism within the church, the essence of the primitive church no longer exists at the time of Pentecost, where there are miracles that are inspired and are truly by the Holy Spirit of God, there are no more prodigies or signs that are the Holy Spirit, now what exists are signs of demons, prodigies of demons because they are not from the Holy Spirit of God, there is no way the Holy Spirit of God is inside a place of prayer where it is infested with demons because he is holy, he is pure. whoever acts in this environment is the principality of the false movement of the gospel, he is working and using the apostates of the faith, using the prophets of Baal, prophets who do not want preach sound doctrine, neither holiness nor renunciation, the gospel they preach is worldly, stained and does not fit in with the holy word, it does not fit in with the scriptures, churches that look like nightclubs, churches that in order to attract people, have to bring in a gay singer, taking Jesus Christ off the stage if the people do not want him you do not have to call famous preachers and pay gay singers, Jesus is the beautiful and unique morning star, Jesus is the star of the stage, he has to be the focus, these are the synagogue of Satan and doctrines of demons camouflaged, some are more subtle, and others are even more, let's say, discreet, but those who have spiritual vision, the vision of an eagle made of cement, catch their eye right away, Holy Spirit of God speaks, get out of this business, we have to run away run away from the doctrines of the devil run away from secularism within the church from modernism from worldliness church without doctrine, 
All these are doctrines of demons to take the people away from the focus of the pure holy genuine true gospel the focus of the true gospel that leads the people to the holy city the gospel of the Lord is simple it is only the Bible and the Holy Spirit of God hallelujah he teaches everything everything we will learn about the spiritual world it is the Holy Spirit of God who shows us it is the Lord who reveals it to us it is not through courses studies human theories it has nothing to do with it those who do this stray from God God's purpose is the most incredible thing is that none of these courses teach about doctrine holiness renunciation close legality close loopholes by the way these women are the pombagiras queens of the altars with makeup adorned just like women of the world.